Hello everyone and welcome back again to another video on my channel. So in this video you will be traveling along with me to none another than the world famous wildlife reserve that is Masai Mara. So Masai Mara if you are planning to come to Kenya then Masai Mara must be in your bucket list and without wasting a time let's start the journey start the trip and come along with me. have to plan your complete trip using any travel agency that you can easily find out in Nairobi Kenya we have planned using caribou safaris in Kenya and decided to go with this land cruiser for our complete safari while planning the dates and time must be the topmost priority while you are traveling through road to Masai Mara because the traffic is super super crazy in Nairobi if you are traveling from Nairobi to Masai Mara so just keep that factor in your mind while planning your trip and along with that there is another way that you can go from flight you can take a flight from Wilson airport in Nairobi and you will be there at Masai Mara in an hour whereas if you are traveling via road so it can take you up to 5 to 6 hours to reach to Masai Mara so on our way to Masai Mara, we have reached till now the Rift Valley. The history of Rift Valley is I can show you in the video. You can see this complete land is being shifted down. In 1884, it's supposed that there was an earthquake due to which there is a complete mountain uh, behind me. And this complete was shifted down in 1884. And that's why with the name of Rift Valley, you will see in the video that how you can clearly see evidently how it is being shifted. Now as I said the complete road trip can take you up to 5 to 6.5 hours and this duration 5 to 6.5 is not depending on the traffic it depends on what route you are taking ahead of Narok city because till Narok city it's same now ahead of Narok city you can just make sure through which gate you are planning to enter to Masai Mara if you are planning to enter Masai Mara from western gate then it is very near to Masai Mara game reserve but it will take you 6.5 hours and if you are planning to enter through eastern gates so it will take you around 5 hours so it's like we have stopped here in between and from here uh, the Masai Mara is around 2 hours away and from here it will be a rough road we have stopped here because in our package lunch dinner and like all the food services were also included so we stop here let me show you the place so we stop here at this place where it is like the lunch and along with that many curio shops. Curio shops are basically you can say the Kenyan local products you can purchase from there. You will find out the uh, food places attached to curio shops as their marketing strategies. So we have been here for half an hour and after that we will be heading to Masai Mara without any stoppage because we have to reach there by 4 p.m. because 4 p.m. I guess there is some hunt or some um, some event at 4 to 6 so yeah So this is how the inside out of a curio shop looks like and the price range varies from a thousand Kenyan shillings to 15 lakh Kenyan shillings. So there are many paintings, many sculptures that you can find out here whose price range is 15 lakhs literally. You literally have to fasten your seat belts once you are ahead of Narok city because our roads are not too good and this is how a Masai village like this is just the starting of Masai village and uh, we are ahead of Narok city and we have planned to enter from the western gate because at the end it's near the game reserve so we have reached Masai Mara near around 4 30 pm through the western gate which is the name of Olulu something and uh, the first thing we did was we checked into our camp and then going for the game reserve for approximate two hours 
so that's all for this video stay tuned and subscribe to my channel because the rest of the journey will be there in upcoming videos